Here, we'll go through an example of balancing a redox equation in basic solution using the half reaction method. We're asked to write a balanced redox equation in basic solution given the skeleton equation NH2OH plus HPO3 2 minus gives N2 plus P. We will work through this problem using three separate videos. In this video, part one, we'll split the skeleton equation into two half reactions and balance them in acid solution. In the second video, part two, we'll use these half reactions to build the overall redox equation. And in the third video, part three, we'll take the redox equation we built in part two and convert it to basic solution. We split this equation into two half reactions. One is NH2OH forms N2. Even though we're asked to balance this in basic solution, we start by balancing the half reactions in acid solution. We'll change it to basic at the end of the problem. We have got NH2OH gives N2. We have one N atom on the left and two on the right. So we add a two here. And now we have two N atoms on both sides. So nitrogen is balanced. Now for oxygen, we have two oxygen atoms on the left and no oxygen atoms on the right. So we add two H2O to the right. And now we have two oxygen atoms on both sides so oxygen is balanced. At this point, we take a look at hydrogen atoms. One molecule of NH2OH has three hydrogen atoms. But because NH2OH actually has a coefficient of two, it means that the left side has two times three, which is equal to six hydrogen atoms we see we have four hydrogen atoms on the right. We add two more H's in the form of two H plus ions, so the total H atoms on the right are four plus two, which equals six. So hydrogen atoms are now balanced. Now we balance charge. The total charge on the left side is zero and the total charge on the right side is 0 plus 0 plus positive 2, which is equal to positive 2. So to balance charge, we add two electrons to the right side. This half reaction is now balanced in acid solution. We don't change it to basic here. We'll wait and change the overall redox equation to basic at the end. The other half reaction involves HPO3 2 minus forming P. We see there is one P atom on both sides, so phosphorus is balanced. There are three oxygen atoms on the left and none on the right, so we add three water molecules to the right side. We now have three oxygen atoms on both sides, so oxygen is balanced. Looking at hydrogen, we see we have one H atom on the left and six H atoms on the right. To balance H's, we add five H plus ions to the left side. So now we have a total of one plus five, which is equal to six H atoms on the left and six H atoms on the right. So hydrogen is balanced. The total ionic charge on the left side is negative two plus positive five, which equals positive three. And the total charge on the right side is zero. So to balance charge, we add three electrons to the left side. The total charge on the left side is now negative two plus positive five plus negative three which add up to zero. So the total charge in each side is zero, and the charge is now balanced. So this half reaction is now balanced in acid solution. 
The two half reactions are now balanced in acid solution. In the next video, part 2, we'll use these to build the equation for the overall redox reaction.